Welcome to chapter B5 of the textbook on sustainability management. This chapter will be about the stakeholder group of investors and how they influence sustainability management in companies. The idea is that after this chapter, you will be able to first explain the general idea of sustainable investment. So what is it about? You'll learn that compared to philanthropy, sustainable investments are indeed investments that also include a financial return and along this financial return, consider certain um, sustainability criteria in different ways. You'll be able to describe the development and the current relevance of sustainable investment. And you'll learn that sustainable investments are on the rise. They are already a major element in the financial markets uh, today. The uh, development is very dynamic. They left the niche market and it's expected to continue quite dynamically. You'll be able to explain the differences between different approaches of sustainable investment, basically active and passive approaches and different subforms. In general, you have the active approaches that is exercising voting rights and engagement with the management as a shareholder, as a stockholder and owner of the company. And you have then on the other hand, the passive approaches. These can be negative or positive criteria. Um, that you use to find your um, investment object, basically. You'll also be able afterwards to explain how sustainability ratings complement financial ratings. And you'll learn that uh, sustainability ratings do complement financial ratings by assessing the sustainability performance of companies or of countries. You'll be able to describe how these ratings are conducted and critically discuss their opportunities and limitations. And you'll see that there is no uniform approach of how these ratings are conducted. Each and everyone who does these ratings can do it basically on their own recipe. And finally, you'll be able to critically discuss how different forms of sustainable investment might have an impact really on sustainable development, on the sustainability performance of, for example, companies, but you can also have other investment objects. And you'll learn then in this regard that the impact of sustainable uh, investments on sustainable development is very ambiguous and contingent on the different approaches. And there might be different ways how impact can materialize or also cannot materialize. Well, again, I have different features, quite a few here in this chapter. In the first chapter on sustainability in society, we'll look at the United Nations principles for responsible investment, the high level initiative in sustainability, in sustainable finance. We have a second feature then on sustainability in society about the sustainability ratings, in this case, actually of countries. So it's not only companies that can be rated, but also countries or other objects. We'll have then three features on sustainability in business. The first one is about the Dow Jones Sustainability Index. It's an index, an index family actually, that uh, sums up several um, investments uh, into companies, stocks um, rated uh, according to certain sustainability criteria. The second one of these features is about BlackRock, the large investment firm sustainable finance at BlackRock and we'll have a look at the question how serious is the world's largest asset manager with its sustainability uh, efforts and the final one will be then about sustainability crowd investments so some, something that is really for you and me as the small scale investors a very interesting new approach that also um, rose quite a bit with the new technology um, the internet and stuff like that apps that are really into these areas here of crowd investment and try to facilitate these specific types of investments